So hello ladies and gentlemen, I know that the Power BI team released the February update last week, but I was out of the office, so there was no way I could do it. I ask you, do you want me to do it regardless? And you say yes, so here we are. Power BI update February 2023. So the first update is conditional formatting on string fields, which basically means that you can say if country equals Spain, then red, if equals Sweden, then blue. You couldn't do that before, you have to use a measure for it. And there's nothing wrong with creating measures other than, I prefer to have my measures just for calculations, like pure calculations. The formatting part, I prefer to do it on the format pane if possible, because if the design is complex, I end up always with like half of my measures being for design, and it makes it harder to maintain. So I think this is a better approach, and I hope they continue developing this more because it should be the UI that does this, in my opinion. So a smart narrative visual summary icon, nothing revolutionary. I was not like super impressed by that until I read the text. The idea of this is that accessibility tools will be able to read to the person that cannot see what the chart says. And I think that is a very, very good addition. So it's not for you that can see the visual, it's for those that cannot so they can get it explained by, you know, accessibility tools. So really appreciate the update, nice addition. I have to say too, that to um, enable it, you have to do it per visual. You have the same restrictions as the normal visual, uh, you know, it's more narrative visual, and you have to go to like header icon and then turn it on, right? Otherwise you won't show. It took me forever to find. For matting image with in table and matrix. Oh my God, thank God for that because they look so bad and it, it just forced you to use custom visuals and something that you shouldn't have to use custom visuals. So this is a very, 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 very nice, nice addition. Thank you very much. So there are some updates on the themes. The first one is that the base theme, the one that comes shipped with Microsoft out of default, it gets updated sometimes, but they don't want to update it without telling you. So now a ribbon will show up and says, hey, we have updated our base theme if you're using it. So you have the opportunity to update it or not. They won't do it by default in case they break something for you. And the next one is that if you upload a JSON theme uh, in, the, in Power BI Desktop, it will tell you if there are errors. And, you know, I provide, well, I sell on my website a JSON theme, both a guide and the actual complete JSON theme, and there were some errors. So I have fixed them now. So if you have purchased a JSON theme, just go to the website and re-download it. I have, you know, changed everything, so now everything is fine. This is a very nice addition, because not only tells you where it's wrong, but it tells you what and what you should change it to. So one of the hard things I had to face when I was creating the JSON theme is not very good documented, and you have to guess what the value should be. Now the error part will tell you, like, this should be 0, 1, or this should be, like, curved or linear or log, or it's a lot easier, it's a lot easier. <laughs> Thank you for that. And the last part about report things is that they have created more accessibility teams that they believe there are better, so just check them out if you need them. So now you can indent, like normal indent text in a text visual, which is very, very nice. Another neat addition, and the one that has been preventing me from using page navigation at all before, is that you can now hide or specify which pages you want to show. So if you have pages that are hidden, you can just turn them off. Or if you have pages that are not hidden, but you not, don't want them in the navigation, you can just turn them off. And the neat thing is that you can specify either what you don't want or what you want, depending on what is more of. So that was a very nice addition. So I will give the page navigation a try again. They have now sensitivity label supported in PDF. When you're exporting data to PDF, the sensitivity label will follow along and bug you. And this is actually very, very nice. The enhanced role level security editor. Like, so cool. So instead of writing pure DAX, you'll have like a UI that will help you write the DAX. 
Like, why don't you have that for normal DAX too? I mean, some of the basic DAX queries could be done like that. Why not? It's a super cool idea. I like it. And there are two new DAX functions. I am still owe you the index and the window, and now I owe you the lightness and the lightness x, which is basically linear regression. I show you how to do re linear regression by hand. Now you have the Excel formula that does that in Power BI, so that's very neat. Now, last but not least worth mentioning is the new get data experience. Let me say it like this, I think it's better. So the thing on the corner hidden all the way down at the bottom, not good. So the fact that you have it on the ribbon makes more sense, it's more aligned to other office products, you find it easier, but it's confusing as heck. Here's the thing. Now I was trying to upload a Power BI file because you know I have a million of accounts and if I have to publish, I have to log in or log out, the login logout experience in Power BI desktop, not there yet. So when I do a file, I just, go to the Power BI tenant and then upload it <laughs> instead of publishing. And I was actually going to new, and then at the bottom it says upload, and that does not upload. Even if it says Power BI file, it does not. So you have to go to upload, <laughs> button, obviously, and then upload it from there. But it does say new upload and PBX. And then all these options is like so confusing. They need to improve that a little bit. But yeah, it's a better experience, for sure. <laughs> like, no shame on that. Okay, folks. So, I love that they are putting more effort into the reporting pain. And they are back, like, 2016, where we were having, like, ton of improvements in the visualization area. It looks like there's a trend on that, too. And I'm loving it. I think it's going to do wonders for Power BI developers and business users everywhere. So I think, it, well, I do have two favorites, actually. I think the Enhanced Role Level Security Editor is just brilliant. It's like, it's really good. And I have another one. It is the Image With. It just, it's such a small thing, but it just makes all the difference in the world when you're, you know, putting images on matrices and tables. So those would be my top pick this month. What is your top pick? I will see you again probably next week with I have a cool park query video, so maybe I'll do that.